this is somewhat different from your other presentations. Um, I'm a family physician and I've worked uh, in primary health care out of hours internationally. And um, my experiences of patients being admitted on Saturday nights and weekends when their care could have been addressed during the week at low cost led me to this innovation. Before all the talk of readmission penalties and, and big data to identify the problem, there is a human problem here that underpins a whole lot of the problems of avoidable hospitalisation. So driven by this experience of patients having hospitalisations when they didn't need them or their care could have been addressed earlier, I partnered with some other colleagues. I'm also not only a, a clinician, but I'm a researcher, a health services researcher. And at the time I was in, in Dublin when I had the opportunity to get innovation money to partner with computational linguists and health analyti analysis, analytics pe experts to see if we could find a way of monitoring the health of high-risk patients in the community so that they got to achieve care in a timely manner. One of the problems is social isolation. So at Trinity College Dublin, a group of us were funded by the Irish government to set up an innovative program to see if we could find mechanisms to reach out to high-risk patients at low cost using humans rather than machines. We, um, well, we've come to Chicago through health box. We were the, in the inaugural health box intake, we were the only non-American company to be recruited into health box. And since health box, we've been in 1871. And we've been encouraged by our experiences in the US to think that we have a solution that would help America's burgeoning healthcare problems. So what's the problem? The problem is that a lot of at-risk patients are on a revolving door in and out of hospital. One of the problems is that there's an assumption that when people leave hospital, they'll be able to self-manage their care. And many programs have been put in place, care transition programs and other programs, that make an assumption that people can self-manage. However, a lot of people can't self-manage. And so there are tools that have been put in place to help them self-manage. But ours is a unique solution. What we do is we provide outbound calls uh, on a regular basis to high-risk patients. Now, that's a very common solution. But what we've done is we've used information technology, um, computational linguistics, to analyze these phone calls and predict risk of deterioration. In fact, not only do we predict risk of deterioration, we do it with low cost providers from the community. For example, if you were in a Hispanic community, you would train local people with our system to make these calls. Um, this then helps the trained health professionals to provide appropriate care that breaks this cycle of the revolving door to hospital admissions. So, we're, we're fairly new. Um, we have done a 30, 300 patient trial in, in Ireland, and we've, used, we've recruited patients from urgent care settings, hospital settings, and medical home settings. And we have uh, made um, significant 50% reductions in readmission, the patients really love it, the people who are socially isolated, um, concerned about self-management, becoming demoralised, even if they know what to do, they, they stop doing it. And we've, and we've actually shifted care to, the, to our patients and to the community. So we've shifted care to more appropriate community settings. We have now got one pilot in the US in Indiana and we hope to have, um, we'll, we'll be reporting on that soon. So it's, it's really 
we can reduce, we can, we can leverage existing care transition, care management, community care programs with local people using the community health, community health care worker model but adding smart technology to standardise and leverage their, their, their outbound ca care calls and work with knowledge used, gained by artificial intelligence of supervised and unsupervised language learning to leverage them to help identify who's at risk. And there's no, there's no doubt that, that we actually can reduce a whole lot of problems and the thing is that we're, not only are we very low cost, our software is very cheap, but the people who get most of the money out of this are the people in the communities because most of the cost goes to, uh, most of the cost is the calls, the callers, and those people are local people, not at a high wage, but there's job creation and skill creation for these people and the money goes back into the communities who are able to be empowered to look after their own more. Uh, so, and compared to the um, home telehealth, home telecare device monitoring in the home, in most cases it's not necessary, it's expensive, you have to put Bluetooth into people's homes, people can't manage the technology, and our solution is very person-centred and friendly. We've been in Chicago, for a year, we have no Chicago, Illinois pilots. We've got one in Indiana. We really believe that we've been validated by a lot of people thinking that we've got value here, but we'd really like to get into the Illinois um, health system and, and demonstrate our product. And we want introductions to Cook County health and hospital systems. Not only do we, we, we piloted our system with frail older patients, but our system would work with behavioural health, people with mental health and drug problems, with families, women in pregnancy. We can train our system. We also, we're no longer Irish, we're American. We're an American company and we want to partner with American Illinois research universities to help us develop this further because not only do we want to, we're doing um, natural language processing on summaries of telephone calls, we want to move to voice analysis um, and there's additional analysis on um, what the voice can tell you about a person's trajectory in their health and how their progress to end of life care is going. So there's a whole lot of um, other interesting research here. So we'd really like uh, introductions, please. <laughs>